Hey, welcome to UK Wildcrafts. This here is horseradish, best known for its hot and peppery root for making horseradish sauce. This time of year in spring, we're after the younger leaves. Horseradish can be found on any patch of waste ground, building site or roadside, but it's especially common around the coast in amongst the sand dunes. Horseradish has long, narrow, quite elongated leaves and they have quite a crinkly texture and a narrowly toothed margin. They've got quite a wavy edge, especially on really young leaves. They can be almost folded over. They can be quite easily mistaken for dock. The leaves do superficially look quite similar, but with horseradish, the leaves grow almost vertically up, straight out of the, the root that's just under the surface. And they're a bit of a lighter green as well. So once you've spotted horseradish a few times, it will really start to stand out. The leaves are standing straight up and a lighter green. If you crush the leaves and smell them, you'll get a mild smell of horseradish. If you've ever had the horseradish sauce, you'll recognise it straight away. Or if you uh, get one of the leaves and break it off near the base of the plant. And uh, smell the liquid that comes out there. That's quite a stronger smell of horseradish there. The root itself is best harvested in late autumn to winter after the leaves have died back and after you've had a bit of a frost it makes the taste of the horseradish a bit stronger. Here's a good sort of place to look for horseradish in amongst bits of waste ground where it's just grass, hogweed and cow parsley growing. You will often find horseradish there. You can see all the leaves standing vertically up. All throughout this grass here is horseradish. So I said before, it's quite easy to mistake horseradish for dock. So here's a, a dock here. And you can see that the leaves don't grow as vertically up. They just kind of lap over and they're a duller green. I mean, dock leaves are edible anyway, so it's not a huge problem if you mistake them. It's just when they get to this size, they're really bitter and they're not very good to eat like that. I'll try and do a video on the route a bit later in the year. For now, as we're in May, I'm just collecting up these nice younger leaves. Yeah, these are good around April, May time before they start getting too large and then they get bitter. And these are good, just really finely shredded and added into a stir fry as a peppery, mustardy sort of green. 